Welcome to Cornell Cooperative Extension's Choose Local Fish, Local Seafood Cooking Demonstration videos. By choosing locally harvested seafood, you can be sure your food is fresh, indigenous, sustainable, and healthy. Get ready to explore new, healthy, and simple ways of cooking well-known local fish, and also get adventurous with new flavors and textures of some lesser known, but just as delicious local fish. Let's join Stephanie in the kitchen. My name is Stephanie Sachs, and I'm a culinary nutritionist and author of What the Fork Are You Eating? and founder of WTFork.com. And today we're in my kitchen in Montauk, New York, bringing you this awesome recipe, miso baked tile fish, that I created for Cornell Cooperative Extension. And you can check out all the recipes that we did together on localfish.org. We're gonna start this recipe by cleaning the tile fish. So come on with me. Okay, so here's our uh, filet of tile fish and I'm gonna clean this first before we dive into the rest of the recipe. So I'm gonna squeeze lemon on it. You can use a half a lemon or you can use whole. The cleaning here is to ensure that the fish is um, sanitary, super clean, that any kind of fishy odors are um, gone. So tile fish is local to our region and um, it's quite delicious actually. So there we go, we've given it a slight massage. We're gonna put it on here and we're gonna just give it a quick dry and then we'll bring it over to our work area. So now that our fish is all cleaned, we're gonna make the miso paste, super easy. This is um, a mellow white miso. I don't use a red miso, which is very, very intense in flavor and it's dark in color, or a sweet miso. This is something in between. So I'm gonna do that. This here is um, honey. You can also actually use a maple syrup for this dish if you want. This is tamari soy sauce. I'll put this aside here. And then I'm gonna do two cloves of garlic, which I forgot my knife for. So we'll use this knife, smash the garlic. And you wanna mince the garlic pretty finely for this dish. So we smash it because it makes it easier to pull the skin off of the garlic. And just a little culinary hack that I want to tell you all about. Some people can't tolerate garlic. And what I was taught in culinary school many years ago is that if you remove this centerpiece, this is the germ, if you remove that, a lot of people don't have the digestive issues that they normally have with garlic. So if you are somebody who has digestive issues when you eat garlic, try that. It actually works, believe it or not. And I don't know why actually, but it does. So I'm gonna chop this pretty finely. My oven is preheating right now to 375. There we go. Put that right in. And then we're gonna take ginger. So this is organic ginger. And when I'm using organic ginger, I don't peel the skin off. It makes it a lot easier. Actually, um, peeling the ginger is kind of challenging. But one of the things that I do if you need to peel ginger is take a spoon and run it along the ginger just like so. And that peels the skin off and it gets around the knobs. So you're not wasting all this ginger by cutting off those funky little bumps. Just like that. So, and then this is a ceramic ginger grater. You can also use a microplane That in. Smell is so unbelievable. So this paste, you're gonna mash it around like so, and it really forms a thick paste. And it's super, super intense in flavor, so you actually only need a little bit. Okay, so that's all set. Now I'm gonna take my baking dish and I'm going to put my fish in here. Now what I like to do when I have such fleshy fish is I stick my fingers in the flesh. So then what happens is when I paint it with this miso paste, it goes into the holes and the flavor seeps through. 
And you can do this with any fleshy fish, thick or fleshy fish. We're not even gonna need all this miso paste. And then you just paint it on, just like that. Okay, voila. And now it's ready to go into the oven. Wow, look at that. And this is our miso baked tile fish. Mm. It is so flavorful, super light. You can taste the fish, but you can taste the miso glaze on it and it's such a nice compliment. So I hope you enjoy this dish as much as we do here. Thanks for watching. Thank you for choosing Local Fish. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Also, please check out the description below for links to more information about local fish species, more recipes, where you can purchase these local fish, and a lot more. Thank you.